Hello my friends, this is Jose from Lovita and today I'm going to talk about how to benefit from these new behaviors we can acquire in life and as you know, for example, developing a new habit is one way to start doing something different. But what about sticking with it? What about how and how can you benefit from these behaviors in life? So there are many ways to make this new behavior stick and benefit from your life. That means one way is to Automatize, automate them, this is, make some automation. Some idea you could create a routine that involves making a particular task, action, automatic. You could even use um, some, some reward system to reinforce this behavior. So developing a new habit is different. If you feel, for example, that you're stuck in a routine, develop a new habit is an excellent way to change this. Try, for example, scheduling several short daily meditations and then even though it may take some little time you know it will make a difference in your mood and well-being you can try for example also preparing some delicious healthy dinner twice a week or developing a new habit can be sometimes difficult i know but but it's worth it you know and to develop this habit it's essential to make a decision to change once you've made this decision for example you may, may really you must act like consistently set for example a reminder and follow through on it every time you find that your new habit will take some root much faster you know and you are much much more consistent after it and you can make this concision, conscious decision but you need also some discipline you must discipline yourself also to do it even if you're not feeling tempted to make some exception for example a simple example for my is some is is for example writing down some words. For example, imagine someone he she has been listening to French podcasts or something for a couple of weeks, but she finds herself forgetting some words. She's learning, for example, this French. So to improve the memory, she writes down words that she's learning into a notebook. And a study found that, for example, this after two or three months, it's you know it's really something automatic. So to avoid falling in the same trap again, for example, if you can, um, you can, for example, make some visual reminders, and of your goal, and make your, this will m make it more likely to perform this. So taking the time to cultivate new habits can benefit you throughout all your life. And sometimes it's not easy, but the new habit will keep you healthier and happier for a long time. So it's important to make sure that you create a routine around these new habits because it's the best way to change your lifestyle. Believe me, you may find it some kind, some, sometimes difficult, but if you follow, for example, you will have a, no problem creating these habits. Another way to maintain, for example, a new habit is to share your progress with other people. That means setting weekly goals and communicating them with others will help you, for example, stay motivated and on track. So having this accountability partner will help you if you're feeling, if you're struggling or stuck or something in your habit, keeping also track of your progress will help you to keep your results and improve your overall well-being. You know, when you see that a new habit, for example, is helping you, share this goal and success with other people to encourage them and to keep this momentum, right? So, when you're, for example, unsure that a new habit, um, about this new habit, make sure you think about the pros and cons of it. Changing your behavior is not easy, so take your time and weigh these benefits and cons and of making this change. Ask yourself how the change will improve your life. You may be surprised by the results, by these answers. You know, once you mastered the basics of this this new habit. You will be surprised at how much better life is going to be and you can apply this for each one of these new habits. You can, for example, automate uh, common actions. And all this technology that we have around us, you know, has created these opportunities for seeking to automate certain actions with reminders and, you know, and costs. That means while it's it can, can certainly enjoy, for example, um, you have less effort. You know, you have less less effort if you automatize this with all this technology, explore some of these potentials, you know. And will, for example, you can 
ask yourself, for example, will in, will in life my life be easier if I automate this, be it more productive? So of course you must also deal with the setbacks that comes. That means they are they are they are really they are they are coming normally, and it's important to learn to deal with them and keep them and keep you moving forward. And one way to deal with the setbacks is to learn how to manage them. For example, how to identify new purpose. You know, or this new purpose when when you when you change when you face these difficulties. So while, for example, it's important to take some responsibility for your own setbacks, it's also important to remember that you are that you are the one who will determine how successful you are. The way, for example, that we see the setbacks in life often dictates how we approach them. That means, while it seem it seem, for example, easier to view a setback as a failure. This perspective only um, will we'll stretch your perceptions. That means no one has ever succeeded, for example, without facing the setbacks, of course. Growing is never smooth and requires really ups and downs. But if you learn to deal with the setbacks in, in this constructive way, you will be less likely to experiment them again. That means, so the most difficult part of dealing with setbacks is your, is your initial reaction, of course. And this is the time when you need to reflect and understand the setbacks. It's also the time when you must remember that positive things in life. And so instead of dwelling, for example, on this negative stuff, learn to focus on these positive aspects. And the more important, you know, you will develop a more, more confidence, for example. And the sooner you master, for example, this art of dealing with setbacks, the faster you will attain these expectations. Fortunately, the majority of, of setbacks in life are relatively minor and do not stop from moving forward, you know. They only slow, sometimes they only slow you down. But success is, is likely to come. That means a setback could be, for, for example, an unexpected delay in a project. But the last thing you need is to panic, for example. Instead of ignoring the setback, you must take the time to deal with it in the right way. It will take some time, but the effort will pay off. Right. If your goal is to improve your life, for example, try to look for new opportunities. Setbacks, these setbacks may have taught you that how to face, for example, and refine your identity and your thoughts. So by taking the time to reflect and think about your next goals, you can bounce back faster and reach new goals. So it's important to remember that you will never succeed if you do not take action everybody so you can always come back to it but as long as you can you must remain motivated and another way for dealing with setbacks is to focus on the present moment so setback may seem like the end of the world sometimes and but it it's also an opportunity to define your destiny sometimes by if you identify your next step you can make the most of what's right now right for you and makes make it make it the best you know this way you can move for example forward and move on with your life normally you will be happier in the long run and we will be more efficient in this so if you want to research a little bit if you want to go the step further in the in the descriptions i have links and resources that i researched that i created that i that i experienced so go go through them let me know in the in the comments you can share also this to someone who would it would help for example but again a big thank you for being there and that you are really also interested in improving your life we are all interested but it's not really easy and we have a lot of distractions around us but you know this is important stuff this is really important stuff so let me know and courage until the next time take care